So the question is, can I redraw this within an hour? Because I got a flight to catch. We shall see. So welcome back, folks. This is Citria, C-E-T-R-I-Y-A. And if you're new, I'm pretty much a chill art channel. I work on some tutorials. I make some original designs. And sometimes I just want to relax and draw something for the camera. So I'm about to fly out. And at first I said in the community tab that I wasn't going to draw anything. So we shall see if I can draw something within the hour. Um, and we'll see how far I can go with it. I genuinely already have an idea of what I want this character to kind of look like. And it's kind of funny when you look at your old artwork. There's like white out in her mouth, but like weird proportion, weird hands. But, you know, it's good to see. I wish I'd date this. But it's good to see, you know, how far you come from. But I still like her outfit. So we shall see where we go with that. Ah, so let's get through the sketching start because that's the boring part, but we're going to go pretty fast with this. I think I want to focus more on her clothes in this case. So let's see. 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 I think I'm going to forward her. Yeah, there you go. That's a big, that's a good. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Her body got real big. I didn't decide what her shoes was going to be on this case, so. So who knows? We're going to give it like a really weird, like, fashionista pose. And, um, like, or should we, yeah, okay, so her breast is going to be over here. We got that in, which ended up blocking, like, most of the outfit, didn't it? It did, didn't it? So we're going to lower this leg right here. We're going to lower this leg right here. So that way we got some space. We got some space. Alright. Alright. Okay. We got that. Let's not have her. I don't know. What should her this arm be? Let's make this arm this way. So, what are my thoughts about this? Well, you know, you, sometimes you, like, look at your stuff and you're kind of, like, a bit harsh with it, saying that you didn't do anything or didn't improve. And I definitely wish I improved some more, but sometimes it's nothing like looking at an old artwork to see just how far you've come, you know? I might do color for this another time. So let's really focus on the um, artwork. At the same time, though, you can see that, like, my style still stayed. Like, it's pretty consistent. You know what I mean? Let's see. I also wanted to redraw this character because I feel like her clothes is coming back in style or perhaps I'm thinking about it like that but let's work around that at the same time like I can definitely see my improvement much better this way so okay her neck it's so funny because like I really got like a lot of accessories on her so Let's give her, like, proper adult boobage, you know, a bit of a, that kind of lumpy sag that you kind of want on there. Alright. Okay. 
Okay. I've been working out, so I'm kind of noticing like muscles more. Not that I have muscles, but I'm noticing muscles more. I don't like how this shoulder is coming out. So there's definitely areas where I still need to improve, but let's, let's, let's do that. Okay, this pose is definitely unnatural. <laughs> so let's, let's just... Do that instead and do that instead okay we got that in we got that in we got that okay this is peculiar ironically i am wearing i am wearing a similar pants like this right now you can see like got that colors and stuff like that so all right so let's make sure the pants are all right you can see, like, my love for fashion at a pretty quick, like, maybe not like haute couture, whatever, like, not that much of a fashion, but you can definitely see that I like to draw clothes. Uh, let's keep her shoes, like, ballet. So there goes the ankles, there goes the feet, there goes her feet, and then there you go. And then there you go. I'm not the best at shoes, but perhaps I should, like, um, do, like, how to draw shoes tutorial, even though my feet all look like they're broken. But if you want me to, I definitely can. So let's do that. All right. Let's do that. Sketch it in here. And then her hair is definitely... Maybe I'll post this like real time version of the video since I did not stream today. But the thing is like with streaming, I'm even more chill with it. But at least now, you know, like, all right. So this is her middle line right here. So we can go ahead and add a collar. I think collars are still like a difficult thing to like do so where's her pants her belt it's a high-waisted belt okay let's do that and I think I know what happened her shoulders are just not separated enough from yeah there you go and it looks like Let's make this cuff a little bit shorter. See, this is the example where you'd want like to pose this out outfit out because let's cut it down. I'm obviously struggling with this, but due to time constraints, we're not gonna do it, right? kind of happy about it i might use her as a character you know it's so funny like if ever you're wondering how do you come up with characters i think it's good to like all right i got her off her thing ruched i think yes there you go i got it ruched ruching is that that curly pleats all right I'm also not that best with hands so but just because you're not good with them doesn't mean you should just like not draw them you know what I mean the only way to do it is practice to do better I think since I've adjusted her sleeves I might, there's the cuffs, okay, I just might give her 
are very large. Like those bangles. Yeah. So I think I'll color this on the next live stream. You know? Yeah, that'll do that. How about that? How about I color in the next live stream? And the funny thing is, since it'll be a bit since I've seen this artwork, I'll notice the mistakes better. So sometimes, you know, you just need to like give your art a breather. Give it some space to like Yeah, just give it some space. So then you could come back to it and make changes. All right. Also, I had to do some work for today. I'm not too shabby. Hmm. All right. Let's see. And then she, I think I might actually open up her vesting a little bit. And then she has a, a graphic choker. Ha. Huh. And then she has like what looks, seems to be a large band. I definitely have to say like my art style has gotten a lot looser which I like I do like it looser so oh her nails is too large her fingers are too long there you go yeah, her hand is getting a little bit too big all right Shall I start inking her? And then this is just planned from like my background. I don't know why I've been adding more type, but uh, I don't even know how to spell well. Uh, she. She on right that's how you do it right oh, I miss an eye we're gonna add an eye right here Dash she on there you go There you go. Oh. All right. Maybe I should just sketch more. Just like, just keep it chill, you know? I know it's more tempting to like. I know it's more tempting to like add a bunch of color, but um, okay. I think her head is just a touch bit too big. This is a time when usually I would, um, what should I call it? I'd use like the liquify tool in Photoshop. So let's lessen down her head a bit. There you go. Let's do this shape instead. There you go. And then we have the metal. And then. Give it a very retro shoujo style. I might actually do that a bit more. Honestly, I should like go back to my roots with this. 
All right, so let's see. What shall I use for ink? I could do, oh, no, we won't do that. We won't do that. We won't do that. Let's see. I have a bunch of pens that I really need to, like, check it. Let's see how this, this is actually pretty, pretty juicy. Oh, I didn't even know this was a brush. Put that away. We don't need that. I thought I'd do like traditional media, traditional drawings and stuff more when I bought these tools like years ago. But I ended up not doing so. By the way, this is like done with Crayola from way back in the day. So I have to say that Crayola holds itself pretty well. What is this? Is this another brush? Nope, it's pretty thick. Stickums, stickums. All right, we only got a few more minutes. Should I do the details or? Yes. Let's do that. Ooh, I might have to zoom in on this one. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. So funny that now I'm perfectly fine with like inking with technical pens. Whereas many times people are like, yeah, we need like the Japanese nib pens. And then I end up not having to use those. So funny, ain't it? I don't know. I just I just ended up use gotten so used to the technical stuff. As far as me like just sitting there and like drawing on demand even though I'm like I need to run out the door. I think it's just cuz I'm work <laughs> I work as an artist, not an illustrator. Like I don't draw like characters. But the whole you draw regardless of what's going on. Is just something that you just end up I don't know it's a mix of things it's like I've been to conventions I don't do them no more I never really made much money at them and once I heard how much people were making you just accept the fact that maybe it's not my area I remember how much people used to really talk bad about these pens but it's so funny that now I'm perfectly fine with using it. Like I said, I don't know if it's because it's conventions or something. But I just got used to using them. And just like extra stylized. As long as people understand and can like read what is it that I'm drawing, I don't think it really matters that much. But you know, you could do more if you so much wish to do more. <sighs> Again, this is just like real time me at sketching before I have to run out to catch the bus to get to the airplane for my flight.
Uh-huh. I've also had some comments about people asking me how is it that I'm just like confident with my lines. It's not that I'm confident. I just accept when I make a mistake. <laughs> you know, you just accept that you made a mistake. And then you just do your best to like cover your tracks. You know? Let's see, how am I going to do this? There you go. Just trying to get this here to look correct. You know, the point is just that people understand what what is it that you draw. And after that, it's based on your style, you know. How do you feel about it? And after that, you just learn, like, some shortcuts. And then that end up being, like, your style. Trust me, like, I can see my mistakes, you know? I can see my mistakes. But you just don't let it get to you. For example, I'm not really looking up the um, reference for how the vest suit's supposed to properly go. So I'm sure that someone who really does know about clothes can be like, okay, so I ended up showing her breast a little bit. <laughs> so let's quickly add a blouse. There you go. I added a blouse and some this. There you go. And honestly, I think over time, we've done, like, so much styles, you know, that looks so clean and perfect. Even if it's done by hand, there's some artists that are really, like, capable of doing, like, really perfect things. Let's see. And I dare say I am not that person. Uh, for example, I did not think about how I'm going to end this hair, but I just did at the moment. Anyways, she got a lot of hair. Let's add some more volume. There you go. And then after that, it's just like shortcuts from, um, you know, drawing quite a bit over time, you know? So far, she had, okay, she has a very particular cuffs that, again, I'm not sure if I got right, but we're going to, we're going to wing with it, okay? Ok, 
Okay. All right. All right. Now this is the part where I'm trying like not to make a problem. Her shoulders is really big here. So we're going to add a little bit. Alright, so this is where it hopes. Alright, there you go. So I just made this up and I'm sure it's incorrect. And I'm sure there will be people who are going to notice it. But, you know, you go ahead. You go ahead. This is the seam line. Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. We did this. I decided not to give her I'm a bit more hungry than I thought but the thing is I don't like using the bathroom in the um what should I call it in the um air air in the airplane so we're just going to be fasting until I get to wherever I'm going. I do have some snacks, but that's about it. These are just some classic pumps. I actually do wear shoes like these quite a bit. Let's move it on up a little bit. I think that's it. Okay. All right. Let's add the last bit. It's some really chunky bracelet. By the way, like drawing till the edge is kind of an annoyance. It is. And again, it's not like I know how to draw hands all that great. All right. Okay. I think that's it, right? Okay. Should sometimes you see, sometimes you do. I don't think it's really accurate, but we're gonna go ahead and add this on this side too. There you go. All right. Uh, I got ten more minutes. Okay.
Let's move this out a bit. I'm not going to erase the background. We'll finish that out on another day. But for now, she's looking good. Yeah, I, her legs is not correct, but we're going to leave it. <laughs> we're going to leave it. You shouldn't be scared to try new poses. And right now I did this off the top of my head on a time limit. So y'all have to forgive me. Okay. I'll erase it some more a little later. Great. She looks good. Alrighty. Now we're going to start adding a little bit more black spots. Let's check this signature. Today is 0520. Right. It is running. The juice is running pretty good. I'd say that's the same character, right? But just updated. Yeah, there's a big difference. There's a big difference. Like, look how nice and casual her arms are. Like, it's a big difference. Yeah, there's a big difference. Alright. Let's see if I can let you see a little bit more. Cool. There you go. So... Even though it's going to be a marker illustration, I think it's pretty cool to have like a little bit of more black outline on the character. So she stands out. And this is helps to like cover up some, some mistakes perhaps. So cool. Just add some more volume with her. The case of her legs is kind of like right. So I'm just like gonna like be raw with <laughs> when I upload this video. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll take it down, who knows. Alright, her hand. I mean I had so much today. I had to take the cat to the vet. She's becoming old, basically doing old people thing, lost a lot of weight. But she is eating, so um, I hope to get the blood test back by the time I come back. But she's okay, so I'm leaving her plenty of food. That's the first thing she did was eat. Poor girl was starving. You can see how this was already popping out, so. Well, so far so good. My phone's not out of 
face. So I'll probably just, like I said, we'll upload this pretty raw. And maybe in the future, I might do some more like this where, yeah, let me know if that's something you're interested in where I just go raw with this and then um, post the live stream version of the sketch of me coloring the sketch or even doing some manga tones. I might do some more manga tones. It's nice, the manga tones, but I like it after I've, um, whatchamacallit, scanned it in because the the screen tones is a touch like washed out it's not exactly like super dark until after the you've scanned it in or you run it through a copier you know okay so her leg is this way so let's add more go. I think that's good. I don't want to make the hair look too big, so I'm not going to overdo it with the outline. To be frank, I, I am really impressed by animators able to like keep consistent with certain things like I could never be an animator you know I've taken classes and then I quickly realized that it's just not my thing okay I think that's it I think that's it and then some interior mm. and by the way like work was devastating um like seriously devastating this week this past two weeks actually so let's do that can see it's actually quite different I don't know I don't know what this job wants to do and then all of a sudden they're posting about how we are allowing flip-flops it's like how about you just let us work from home like too many like too many companies are going to end up losing like their best talented people because productive people do not like wasting time and to be frank if the best time for me to do my art is like or do work for the company is at a different time and not necessarily like I'm just like a purely night owl it's more like It's whichever. I just know that, you know, you put in extra hours when deadlines are due. And then when there's not as much of a deadline, it's okay for us to plan like time off or to go off. But the thing is, during deadlines, we don't get that time back. You know, you can't, you can't do 60 one week and then 30 the next week. It's 40 or plus every week, regardless of what's going on and I just am kind of over it right and then you hear more and more about them people commenting how much they're kind of over it and it anyways hope you guys are enjoying this though right now I'm just honestly having fun with the inking a little bit it's a good stress relief after a crazy whirlwind of a day and just for okay just about me about to go on my flight so by the time I upload this I'll actually be in the airport so that was my plan that was
was my plan. Sorry if you don't like the music. It's just hard to find like good like free streaming music and <sighs> yeah, which is understandable, right? These artists make their time. I don't need it to be like, um, I don't stream free music because I feel like, honestly, I should give her more earrings, right? She's looking pretty good. So let's just give her a simple pearl because the pearls are always the things that like, that, um, is always that classic elegant bougie touch my general sparkles yeah I'll be heading over to New York well for cousins because I got cousins over there but to be honest I'm not that much of a New York person you know what I mean it's a little bit I don't know I work there and I can go back and work there again it's just I don't know I'm just not into a concrete jungle I'd rather a regular jungle. And yeah, that's all. We're just now we're just having fun adding strokes. <laughs> but I really gotta go now. Any minute my alarm is gonna ring on me, so there you go. This ended up being really cute. Alright, let's add her. The seam lines that you get when you're making clothes, when you're buying clothes. Yeah, those are the seam lines. Okay. I think that's pretty good, right? I think so too. So this will be fun for when I upload or do the live stream. Okay. I think that's it. And got some nail polish. Yeah. Seam line on her shoes. Do a little bit more seam lines. I think that's it. That those legs don't look right, but you're gonna have to accept it as is and enjoy it as is. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, dokie folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of drawing this again and come into the live stream if you want to see um me coloring her with the same colors cuz I think the colors are looking good. I might change the tint or whatever, but I hope you guys enjoy this and yeah. And if you have any questions, let me know, comments, requests, all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video.